positive value added action in education. Theme, promoting environmental consciousness. Group members, Jimmy and Kirk, Karen Ramroop Singh, Joanne John, Susan Lynch Boudou, Nicole Marshall and Solange Woodruff. In a world where students face a number of challenges in their lives and those challenges impact their school experience, their cries for guidance echo loudly. A courageous band of heroes, the environmental consciousness educators, heeds the call. According to Ling and Chan, environmental consciousness is a general concept that refers to the degree to which a person is oriented toward concern for the environment. On Sunday, 27th November 2022, the Ministry of Education issued a statement advising that all schools would be closed on Monday, 28th November 2022 due to adverse weather and riverine flooding. The Guardian newspaper can Richard 27 November 2022. In a climate changing world, readiness means having the knowledge, skills and attitudes and values to take on rising carbon emissions, diminishing biodiversity and other environmental degradation. OECD PISA 2018. If we provide the foundation for students to become keepers of the environment, it is our hope to ensure a brighter future for generations to come. Environmental education in schools means that we look beyond the typical outcomes to see what behaviors, attitudes, and values we can instill in our students. Our group decided to look at the positive value added action of promoting environmental consciousness in schools and we explored it from the angle of HFLE, language and psychology. We found that these foundational theories align themselves very appropriately with the positive value added action that we had selected. Looking at health and family life education, we see that skills such as decision making, communication, negotiation, self-esteem and values education are central to the curriculum. They aim to tackle issues such as HIV, sexual health, substance abuse, environmental health, safety and nutrition. These are all issues that students face at some point in their school education experience. We approach the promotion of environmental consciousness with a focus on decision making, empathy, critical thinking and managing stress, aligning with many of the issues that are tackled in the HFLE curriculum. UNESCO has urged for education for sustainable development to be a major component of all educational systems at all levels. The World Bank has pointed out that Trinidad and Tobago is vulnerable to climate change. Trinidad and Tobago is a signatory to reversing the effects of climate change through the COP27 to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. The MOE has partnered with BPTT and the Black Bear Foundation to organize environmental awareness essay writing competitions. Swimcol has created a powerful metaphor in eradicating Charlie the Litterbug. The Minister of Planning and Development has stated clearly in her COP27 speech that we must move beyond pledges to action. Educators play a pivotal role in directing the vast student population. As such, educators must be aware of the perlocutionary effect. Our words as teachers not only inform, but prompt our students to act willingly and immediately towards promoting environmental consciousness. In addition to HFLE and language, here we have the psychological approach to promoting environmental consciousness. Psychological theories such as Abraham Maslow's humanistic theory, B 
B.F. Skinner's behaviorism and Lev Vygotsky's theory on cognitivism provide much framework in outlining the impact of promoting environmental consciousness on students. Marcel's theory focuses on the importance of fulfilling basic human needs before higher order needs can be met. This aligns with environmental consciousness in terms of the promotion of basic needs of safety and security, which is often threatened by an environmental degradation. By teaching environmental awareness and encouraging pro-environmental behavior, educators can assist students to meet these needs, creating a sense of security and safety. B.F. Skinner's theory on behaviorism emphasizes the role of rewards and punishment in shaping one's behavior. Therefore, educators can employ positive reinforcement to encourage pro-environmental behavior, such as providing praise or recognition for students who recycle or save energy, whereas negative reinforcement such as highlighting the negative impacts of environmental degeneration can also fortify pro-environmental behavior within our students. Vygotsky's theory of cognitivism focuses on the role of social interactions and the importance of learning in social context. Hence, by teaching students about the importance of environmental preservation and encouraging them to engage in pro-environmental behaviors, educators can establish a social norm that substantiates these values. In turn, this will help students to develop a sense of responsibility towards the environment and inspire them to engage in pro-environmental behaviors, even without direct rewards. Good day, everyone. Good day. I trust we are all aware of the reason for this meeting. Yes, Miss. I'm really, really sorry for all the stress I caused everyone. I don't know what happened yesterday, you know? Solange, we are on your side. We just need to get to the root of the problem. Kicking down the recycling bin and defacing the school wall is not acceptable behavior. Agreed, Susan. Uh, this intervention is not punitive. It's purely aimed at finding what led you to vandalize school property. It's not ex and that's not expected from a student like yourself. But I, for one, am very interested in what Miss Lady has to say. Well, honestly, I'm just real frustrated, Miss. Things, all kind of things happening at home. Daddy lost his job. Sorry, Mom. There was a fight about food. We got flooded out when they had all those floods and we lost lots of things in the house, Miss. I, I just real frustrated and I don't know how to cope. Thank you, Solange. I believe we need to handle this in a few different angles to resolve this holistically, yeah? Yes. So our environment need our help. Every decision we make goes a long way. Climate change increasingly affects people's health and well-being. You mentioned the flooding earlier. Is this typical for your area, Solange? Mm -hmm. yes. Sadly, environmental issues like flooding is a symptom of climate change and can impact the quality of our daily lives. Solange, I want to talk to you about something else. Decision making and coping with stress. Do you know that we have an HFLE program at the school? Well, HFLE is about health and life and family life education. It is extremely useful. It helps to cover challenges that you're experiencing. Um, Miss, I heard they have it on our new timetable. What is it actually about? Well, according to Ministry of Education, Life skills such as decision making, communication, negotiation, self esteem, and value education will be put at the center of our curriculum at school. It will address issues such as HIV, sexual health, substance abuse, environmental health, safety, and nutrition. So, when you look at environmental health in particular, 
it is important to note the role in the grand scheme of things. Something as simple as making the decision to be a steward to our environment versus a contributor of environmental degradation, kicking the bin down, can impact on all of us. This school has several ongoing programs, right, Miss? With, with something that you can be involved in and appreciate the impact on our environment. There are actual studies that state that the benefits of, our, of being environmentally conscious goes beyond protecting our environment. The benefits like problem solving, emotional learning. You mentioned about food insecurity. Well, guess what? Our Grow Your Own Food program aims to help students learn how to cultivate their own food, thus providing a valuable knowledge, sustainable living. Additionally, it fosters collaboration with peers and equips students with tools for managing challenges in life. Definitely something that you can consider. Well, Miss, I hear what you're saying, eh? Um, it making me remember this, this lecture Miss Johnson had with us, right, on the environment. So, like, she was saying that when the environment is protected and it's thriving, like, it is impact how we experience life and our lifestyle and things. And she was mentioning these people, the, I think it's WHO, and they had some kind of big meeting somewhere and they was talking about the environment and how we need to have environmental education in the schools itself and um, miss they were saying things like how these students are going to be responsible for sent like you know taking information into the community so when we make a good decision it impacts the community miss so, I mean, like, I hear what you're saying, eh? but at the time, it didn't really, it didn't really seem that important, no? I'm happy to hear you're somewhat aware of global issues. The point you raised about communication is valid. I believe Ms. Johnson may have some more to say on that particular area. Ms. Johnson? Yes, thank you for having me in this discussion. I hope that everyone will communicate better because it is the only way we can go forward. I heard you mention WHO, but here's what. There are other major organizations. UNESCO has urged for education for sustainable development. It has to be a major component of the education system at all levels. Then the World Bank the World Bank has pointed out that Trinidad and Tobago is vulnerable to climate change. So we need to do something about that. We have to help out. The Minister of Planning and Development stated very clearly that we must move beyond pledges to action. In her COP27 speech, this is important. Another thing, is that Swimcol, I'm sure you know what Swimcol is. Swimcol has created a powerful metaphor in eradicating Charlie the Little Bugger and encouraging actions like reading comic books, coloring activities in art competition in schools nationwide. Our actions need to support this call for environmental consciousness. Don't forget that catchy phrase, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Yes, yes. We will create more environmental awareness science. So, Lange, you are going to help us do this. Yes, yes. Remember, we need to act. We need to collaborate. Let us all act now. We need the support. Let us all act now because there is no planet B. Perhaps your mother would like to share her thoughts on what we have been discussing thus far. I know it is a lot of information to digest. 
Well, Miss, permit me to say first of all, thank you for having us here and for showing all of this support and togetherness. I really appreciate that, and I'm sure Solange appreciates that too. And yes, I will admit that there has been challenges in the home, but I really didn't believe that it would have affected her so negatively. I didn't expect that. And for that, I apologize as well. And I know, I know going forward that Solange is very sorry for yeah. the full action. Yes, Mom, I am. Yeah? Yes. And I have actions have consequences. Yes. Yes, Mom. Right. Good to hear. Good to hear. So if I may ask a question, please. You mentioned something about art a few minutes ago. Solange is a very talented artist. And she's very enthusiastic about it. Arts and crafts and whatnot. Are there any competitions or any workshops that maybe she could be a part of, that she could participate in? Because these are activities that she, she enjoys. I'm just brainstorming here. Actually, Miss State, one of the clubs in the school has taken a cue from UNICEF and just launched their comic book competition. Ironically enough, it is in keeping with the promotion of environmental consciousness. OMG. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. Who am I now hearing about this competition? I love comic books. I am all about them. I find they're the best way to read about topics without it being like overly boring and stuff like that. I must say, it is certainly refreshing to hear you laugh, Solange. Yes, I agree that comic books are wonderful ways of engaging young people with trending topics, but in light and easy to understand format. It is our belief, however, that students are integral to the dissemination of information pertaining to environmental issues to the wider community. I know the guidance officer here is involved in a lot of eco initiatives here at the school. Not so much? Yes, that's true. Right? And I interject here by reflecting on that incident where you capsized the recycling bin. Yes. And I just want you to know I, I don't know if you realize that the environment contributes to a lot, it creates an environment for you to learn. Do you know that it affects the way you learn? I never really thought about it like that, you know, miss. Yes, because when you keep your environment clean, learning becomes much more easier for you, right? And I could sit here and I could discuss with you the many benefits of keeping your environment clean. But I want to draw your attention perhaps to becoming more involved in the environmental club. Does that sound like an option? Yes, it sounds interesting, miss. Because I think it would be an excellent way for you to learn more about your environment as well as distract you from the many issues that you seem to be facing. Yes? So you said that that's something that you are interested in? Yes, miss. It sounds like it could be fun. I haven't joined any clubs in the school yet, so you're making it sound interesting. Any Good. more info? Okay. Of course. Now, I could discuss with you the many benefits of joining that club one of which you will definitely get to create or build relationships with your peers and your teachers. I think you will become a little more knowledgeable about the environment. You will think about your actions, especially that incident. You will also be a little more appreciative then of the environment and more so it will, it, it will really help you to, to distract you, I guess, from some of those issues that you seem to be experiencing. Yes, miss, that sounds wonderful. And not to mention the environmental club also awards badges, yes, and assigns the role of eco officer to students on a rotation. It also helps to create our foster leadership, um, leadership sorry, qualities in our members. So, and I believe that you, you tend to have a lot of those qualities in yourself, so you will be excellent in the environmental club. That's yes, so? miss, this sounds like the perfect club for me to join. Good. I'm really glad to see your enthusiasm and maybe um, we can probably at the end of this meeting, we can, I can go with you to sign up for the environmental club and at least show you some of the initiatives, some further initiatives that the club tends to endorse itself in, which is for the most part the comic book competition that you are very much interested in. 
Yes, miss. They have other activities of like course, what? They do. Well, we recently started a bottle collection um, okay. initiative as well as a recycling drive, okay. right? And you're seeing now the purpose then of that been being there, okay. right? And maybe um, more so you can understand then that this particular initiative attaches a competition to it. Right, so we have it, it's an inter house co um, competition. Are you familiar with that? Yes, yes, I like those. So, the house that collects the most bottles wins the prize, and that is something that you seem to be very, very much interested in. Yes, yes, I like to win. Good, okay, Solange. I believe we've all come to a positive value added solution. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, <clears throat> Jimian. Can you please help us with the summary of the minutes in this meeting? Thank you all for coming. And Solaj, we're going to see a new student, a positive yes. value added student. Yes. yes?